corals are one of the most important ecosystems that we have in the oceans. They actually make the habitat for thousands of other species. And humans depend on those thousands of other species for, for coastal protection, for fishing in a lot of places that don't have any other social safety net. We know we're having a big effect on corals. Since the Industrial Revolution, we've lost some estimates between 30 and 60 percent of all the coral reefs on the planet. We've seen huge events that are called bleaching events where swaths of corals that cover miles and miles turn up dead because the temperature is too hot. Climate change in the ocean has a number of different effects. More storms, higher sea level, and more heat. Heat models of the Pacific over the next 30 to 50 to 100 years suggest there's going to be large swaths of the Pacific that are too hot for corals to live. The ocean is a highly variable place. It's not an easy place to live. The organisms that live anywhere in the ocean are facing all kinds of different environments all the time. And evolution over the millions of years has given them the genetic diversity and the acclimation mechanisms to deal with different environments up to a point. And so our research about corals is to try to find out how they deal with increasing heat and at what point that might fail. By protecting those parts of the reef that have heat-resistant corals, we're essentially protecting a legacy of heat-resistant corals into the future.